This is an organ transplant, but not just any organ transplant. This was the very first transplant of a pig organ into a living person in 2022. Since then, there have been four more xenotransplants, or pig organ transplant, done in living people. Importantly, all of those organs were not just any pig organs, but ones that have been genetically modified. Without gene editing, the human body would immediately reject the organ moments after being connected. But each surgeon trying xenotransplants has tried using organs with different modifications, hoping to find the best fit. Let's take the surgeons from University of Maryland, who did the first two pig heart transplants. They are now trying organs from a pig with 10 gene edits. We've been working with the, le the fewer genetic edits and, and didn't have the same outcomes that we were able to achieve with either the 7 gene or the, or the 10 gene. Mass General, though, has used a pig with 69 gene edits for a kidney transplant. We tested a lot of other combination of genes, then find out without the genes, you know, the, the, the survival is bad. NYU Langone has opted for a single gene edit, along with transplanting the pig's thymus gland, which trains immune cells to tolerate the new tissue. Our feeling is, you know, less is more. Um, and if this works, we really have the answer. In the search for the most compatible organs, Dr. Montgomery also performed a 10-gene kidney transplant in collaboration with Dr. Jamie Locke, who experimented with the approach while at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. It'll be the first time to really compare and contrast, you know, less is more versus an extensively gene-edited kidney. But with only five of these transplants done, the surgeons are still working out which combination of edits is best, or if entirely different ones are needed to mask or eliminate the molecules on cells that mark the pig organ as pig. There are additional sugars, those are carbohydrates, on the surface that we just haven't quite figured out yet. So my guess is, um, you know, we're at the Model T stage of the... Um, of the genetically altered organs. Each center believes different way. But after a couple of patients, we have to change our thoughts. If NYU is doing great, then we have to run. Then we have to change it, right? It's, this isn't about being first. This is A, about um, saving an individual's life and be about solving a much bigger problem that results in, you know, thousands of lives lost every year. And so every one of these that's done and done thoughtfully and successfully moves the needle. These surgeons are hoping that clinical trials are around the corner. So this technology that has been researched for decades can be tested on a larger scale.